Hello, in that video I'll show you another laser engraver and cutter. It's NJ Master 2 Max with 30 watt laser model. As always start with unboxing. When I received a CNC it was the heaviest box, but that is definitely the biggest one. Size is about 15 by 14 by 100 cm. When I open the box we can see the bunch of protective sponge and all the components of NJ Max engraver cutter. Protection on packaging is amazingly good and I think there is no postman who can damage this engraver. Each part of engraver got its own groove into sponge and then additionally covered with piece of sponge. Because box is big enough there is also its own place for the power supply and protective glasses. Let's check what we got in the package. Multi-language manual, red protective glasses, accessory back where we find USB cable, piece of green acrylic to set focus, piece of anodized aluminium for testing, brush, tools, angles for fixing the machine, testing cardboard pieces, zip ties, screws and marker. Then we got here quality 12 volts 3 amp power supply, 30 watt laser module and of course partly preassembled engraver which contains two Y axis, one X axis and two profiles to assemble the frame. Assembling is fast and easy, all we need is to fix 6 screws. Everything is prepared so I think we can't assemble them wrong. Because on front and back frame profile we got acrylic legs with grooves where fits both Y axis profile. The one with motherboard is on the left side, so we just slide Y axis into groove and screw them, but not fully tighten yet. When we assemble all four corners, insert the x-axis extruded profile on y-axis carriage. Also they are made out of acrylic and get groove where the x-axis fits perfectly. Then just fix another two screws. When we get mounted all six screws we can fully tighten them. Then connect the cables. There is one short cable already plugged into motherboard. That one need to plug on left Y motor. Another cable is through the X axis profile connect on the only empty plug on motherboard and another side on the right Y motor. Then there's just one more red cable for the laser model. Mounting the laser model is super simple because it gets grew on its housing where we fix it with a clamp on X axis by tightening single screw and then plug the cable. And that's it, laser is assembled and ready to work. It's super easy and won't take us more than a few minutes. Let's check a few more details. Even if the machine is huge, it's still very light. Working area is 81 by 46 cm and need about 100 by 60 cm free space so it can move freely. It's made super simple out of only 5 extruded profile, 3 acrylic carriages and 4 acrylic legs. Front and rear profile is dimension 15 by 15 mm, Y and X axis profile is dimension 15 by 30 mm. On corners we got 4 acrylic legs which connect profile together quite solid. It's also got rubber legs to prevent slipping and hole for angles if you want to fix it somewhere. X axis profile is fixed on 2 Y carriages, each with its own motor and 4 wheels. Upper 2 is hole so the belt can run over them and button 2 is grooved. On the left carriage we got fixed the motherboard. That means that the power and USB cable move together with Y axis. So always have in mind to get cable long enough for free moving. Some engravers got single Y motor and shaft to connect pulleys. But I like the way with two motors because we got more free space under the X axis. There's less parts where something can go wrong and we don't need to be accurate while assembling to get right angle. As you see it's got lot of dead band. And it checks zero only on left side, so if we don't set zero properly, it work everything out of right angle. But there are two simple ways to fix that. First one is to push right carriage manual all to the end after machine finding zero point. Another one I prefer is to push right carriage a bit further before finding zero point, so the right motor loses steps until the left one hit the limit switch. On X axis is acrylic carriage with 3 wheels, stepper motor and aluminium laser clamp. There is 2 spring and single screw to tie the laser model. 
Function of that clamp is that we can set height of laser to set right focus, so we don't need to set lens all the time. On all three axes belt is fixed on one side of profile, then goes via motor pulley on the carriage and forward to other end of profile, so I can tangent it on one or other side really easily. I think we're all interested about new 30W laser model, but before I make a first test I disassemble them and make a quick comparison with 20W model. On first view we can see that the laser model is much bigger, its size is 40x40mm, while 20W is 30x30mm. Size of fun is same as housing, on 30W is 50mm height, while on 20W is only 10mm. It's got much more aluminium heatsink, but after all it's only 10 grams heavier than 20W. Diode breast housing is same size, but we can see that the diode lens is much bigger on 30W, that's why also the lens is a bit bigger and different. Aluminium part around the laser isn't anodized, so the heat transfer is better, and also the driver board is a bit different. But all NJ lasers got same 4 wire connector, so we can replace models for different jobs without change single setting. 30W model got also a bit of protective glass on front, but that doesn't mean that we don't need to wear glasses. It also got a small window for turning the lens to set focus. Now plug the laser and tighten the clamp, connect power supply and set focus. On 30W model we can set focus by changing the height of laser model or with turning the lens. Then push offline button to set zero position. Push offline button again so the laser frame the location of engrave. And then push button again so the laser start engrave last uploaded code to the board. After first engrave I noticed that the Y line is a bit shifted. I quickly noticed that the belt on X axis is a bit loose. The easiest way to check the belt is that we block the motor pulley and then try to move carriage manually. If there is some black lash, simply tighten the belt on one or other side of extruded profile. Result is much better, Y line is straight now, but far too much power for wood engrave. So plug the USB cable to a PC and try the Neji software. Go to Neji Wiki and select model you got, download driver and Neji software. Here you also got a lot of information about machine hardware and software, really nicely explained. First install the driver and then start Neji software, it's bootable version so we don't need to install them. During connection software check the model of engraver and send it to zero position. Software know which model is connected so we don't even need to set the working area, really love that software because it's so easy to use. Then I go to online G code and select one of them, set size, locate the position of engrave and press play button. Try to not forget to set focus before start. And after about 20 minutes I got 30cm big engrave. It came out really nice with lot of details. Laser spot is a bit bigger on 30W, so engraved line is wider, which is not best for small engrave, but better for cutting. We can set here laser power and burning time, but new software got another function, motor speed. I tried to engrave the image size about 20 by 30 cm. It engraved about 10 hours, but got motor speed set it to slow. Then try to make two engraved the same settings, only change the motor speed to max. Engraver was much faster, about 4 times faster. But during engrave X motor lose steps few times. I think that function is more suitable for 32 bit motherboard. The one I got here is still running on 8 bit, but more about that next time. Also here I try to change motor speed settings, it really works much faster and don't lose that much details compared to save time. If you want more quality engrave need to lower down the laser power and raise up burning time, like that piggy on top where I use fast motor settings, but more about that in some other video. Just one more thing about software. If I want to use Lightburn software need to download Neji GRBL uploader, open them and upload GRBL Fimer. Neji make that so easy for us users who wasn't best friend with programming. After uploading is done, laser instantly connect with light burn, but work a bit slow, so I try to upload other GRBL firmware, and then the laser work with full speed. On my AG2 I couldn't make limit switch work into light burn, and there was few other bugs, but with latest firmware everything works smooth, and all I need to do is invert Y direction and Y homing convert, but it's possible that I got motor cable mixed. Now the homing work even better than on AG software, because it checked twice for better precision. Neji is really the king of connectivity and software develop. Everything worked great and they constantly develop software and fiber, but I already talk about that in other Neji videos, so let's try to cut something, because 30W model is suitable for cutting. Firstly I try to cut 5mm plywood, using Clyde Burn, because it offers layers, so I can make engrave job with 30% laser power and 10mm per second speed to engrave, 
and then other job for cutting with 100% laser power, 5mm per second speed and 5 passes. I forgot to tell that 30 watt laser is great, because fan is temperature controlled, so it's very quiet while engraver turned off while not working, but after 10 to 20 seconds of cutting with full power, also the fan turning with full power. That's also the first model that actually heat up and can be fitted with hand, but software didn't show more than 39 degrees Celsius, also after an hour of cutting, because fan is really powerful. As you see, I use improvised air assist, which make huge effect to cutting. But still not enough for 5mm plywood, just one more pass and it be cut it perfectly. Also the cut attach is quite nice. Then I tried to cut 3mm MDF. I tried to cut that material with 20W laser model, but didn't cut more than 0.5 to 1mm deep, also if I go with 10 passes. So I was really surprised when 30W model cut MDF in 5 passes just perfectly. Then I try a few more materials, like leather, which engrave and cut easily, but need to lower down the cutting power for better cut. When I try an anodized piece which come with the machine, I could say the 20W model got bigger effect on them, and also on Inox got better result with 20W model. There are no effect on PCB, but make nice engrave on anodized aluminium, but still a bit darker than 20W model. Cut balls up to 10mm like butter, and wasn't cause fire as fast as 20W model. Then I try 1mm Avio plywood, which is really tough, and 20 watt model only market. Well, 30 watt can cut easily. Also, 9mm spruce wood cut much easier than 20 watt, but when we cut thick materials, focus is very important, so always make tests before cut bigger areas. You see that perfect cut? On hardwood like ash, it can cut more than 5mm. There are no problem also for 3mm 3D printed PLA, but pieces of melted plastic can weld the part back together. And then try also on piece of 8mm acrylic, I grave it nicely, but can cut through. After 2 to 3 passes it cut 5 to 6mm deep, but also after 10 passes didn't cut more than 7mm. So far I tested few different Neji machines and laser models, and it looked like everyone got its own pros and cons. In that video I tried to show the Neji Max, but because there are a lot of interest in that kind of videos, I think I make a separate video about all the laser models and show what they can cut or engrave. Neji Max is a really awesome machine, working area is huge, which is great to cut some RC kits. I was worried about space, because it takes the whole table, but I got stuff like tools and cameras all the time inside of working area, we just need to be careful to not hit them, because also Neji Max got motion protection. Cable for the X motor and laser stay up nicely, because there are a piece of plastic inside of both and so it stay up in the air nicely. We need to be a bit careful about cables from the motherboard, so they won't hook somewhere. 3D printed cable chain would be nice modification here. Motherboard is a bit different than on AG2. It got two 8-bit microcontroller, one for AG software and other for GRBL. It got separate drivers for Y motors. Boot, X and Y limit switch are direct on motherboard. Got a capacitor and power plug is really quality, so it won't lose power while pull the cable behind. But also about that more in some other video, where I'll upgrade them with 32-bit motherboard. On the end I start looking where to put that huge laser in my small field workshop. But the laser is so light we can easily hook them on the wall, where it takes just a little space. I just make a single hook and hang them. The other option is to take a minute or two to disassemble them with only 6 screw and put it back to box. That's pretty much it about. I really like the machine, because huge working area make this machine very useful, especially in combination with 30 or 40 watt laser model for cutting, because making that big engrave take a lot of time. Of course we can still make small engrave, I recommend it to buy another laser model 2.5 or 3.5 watt, which got smaller laser spot and make much better grayscale images. But on the other side also 30 watt make nice deep black engrave. Lot of people ask me what to buy, Neji or Ortor. So far I was in doubt, because Neji connect to any software, and also offer its own great and super simple software, and also the laser model is a bit better, because of better focus. But on other side, Orto work on 32 bit, so it was actually about 4 times faster, but now also the Neji developed 32 bit board, which can buy us upgrade part or get them with a new machine. Just be careful on the letter S, for example the machine I show here is Neji Master 2 Max. If you buy the Neji Master 2 S Max, you get 32 bit motherboard on machine. I already got new board, but didn't test them yet. But if it work as fast as Ortor, Neji stay without any competition, and I choose Neji without thinking. 
Actually, there's only one thing I miss on Neji machines. They make nicely 3D warning sticker. But come on Neji, why you can't make logo sticker and put it somewhere and engrave Neji logo on laser model? I think it look much better and professional. For price and order check for the link below in the video description. Where is the link to order from Banggood, Gearbest or direct from Neji store, which got warehouses in Europe, USA and Russia. And so far it's the only store you can buy Neji Max model and 40 watt laser model. So far I got Neji Max and Neji 2, but already received a bit smaller box from Neji, but more about that in the next video. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.